All right, man, so we're here with the Metric Mate application and platform. So we're gonna be doing our strength and endurance assessment today. Five exercise circuit, 90 seconds a piece, so about 15 minutes of fury. We're gonna be able to tell you all of the data and information about your muscular output throughout your entire muscular chain. So we've got Braxton here, another one of the co-founders of Metric Mate, the brainchild behind this thing, and he's gonna be going through this fitness assessment with me, at least, for the first time. We have our guided workouts here, so that's where we're actually gonna access the Metric Mate Strength and Endurance Assessment. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we make it easy because we know it's the hardest workout that we actually have in the entire workout guide. Five workouts, 90 seconds a piece. So these are the five workouts we're gonna be working with. We have tricep extensions, squats, deadlifts, lat pull downs, and seated rows. Now 90 seconds might seem like a small amount of time, but trust me, once you get into these workouts, you're gonna know exactly how long 90 seconds is. Now, we do have three rules when it comes to this strength and endurance assessment. The first one, don't slosh my weight around. Don't make it bounce at the top, don't make it slam at the bottom. We want controlled reps. The second rule is we wanna make sure we get full range of motion. Range of motion over reps. Reps are important, everybody loves a high number, but we wanna make sure you're getting full range of motion. The third one is do everything that you can. Don't overexert yourself. If you feel like you need to take a break, take a break. If you feel like you need to take a stop, take a stop. This is your 90 seconds, do what you can. Braxton, proceed to the multi-exercise cable machine and start at 45 pounds. Good work, good work. Great job, great job. Set complete. Right, so now you got your two minute rest. Make sure you take all of your two minute rest. That's the optimal time for your muscles to actually cool back down before you to get the next performance on the next workout. Now these squats are gonna be more like a front squat than a back squat. So you're gonna take the weight, you're gonna support it up at the top, you're gonna make sure you stay rigid with your top. Don't want your elbows floating forward, don't want your shoulders floating back, don't want your traps engaged. You wanna to try to be relaxed, but you wanna to try to keep it here. Excellent stuff, so you just did your squats. Now the next exercise we have is gonna be deadlifts. So, instead of bringing the weight up to the top, we're gonna to leave it down here at the bottom. You can either choose to grip it full hand, or you can actually put it in between your fingers, whichever one feels more comfortable. The important part is that you make sure that you're relaxed when it comes to your arms. As you go down, you let the arms dangle, they have full mobility. When you come up, that's when you engage the lats. Bring your shoulder blades together. You don't want to pull from your elbows like you're engaging your biceps. You just want to bring your shoulder blades together and that'll automatically bend your elbows. So though it feels like your elbows are bending, you're not doing a curl. Just bring your shoulder blades back and that's how it'll sit. When you come back down, let it rest again as though the barbell's on the ground. Come back up, engage your shoulder blades. Yep. Cave that chest at the bottom, stick it out at the top. Set complete. Rest 120 seconds. Love it. So the next wow. exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a little focused on the legs, but not nearly as much. And that's gonna be a lat pull down. So your traditional lat pull down, you sit in the chair and you're able to engage from that angle, but we wanna make sure we're getting a reading from your entire body. So we're gonna have you be the seat. So you sit here, you're gonna bring the actual uh, ropes down to the top of your chest. So you're gonna be a little bit above 45 degrees. So this is about 45 degrees. This is where we want your elbows. So we wanna make sure we engage those lats one more time and get the top of that back and you'll be in good shape.
All right, so we got through the four exercises of the five, now we got the last one left. And this has arguably, like we've had arguments about this, been the hardest exercise out of the entire workout. So what we're gonna do is drop down the, the pulley to about waist height, and now we're gonna be doing seated rows. So as the last time, we didn't give you a seat. We're not giving you a seat here either. You have to be the seat. You sit down, you wanna get an overhand grip, or underhand grip, and you wanna to pull to the bottom of your chest. So instead of gauging the top, the rhomboids at the top, we're gonna to be going to the lower part of the chest. Make sure that you bring it all the way in and get that full range of motion. And again, keep the core tight because it will try to pull you forward when you go forward. Don't let it do that. a lot of love, Give me what you got, come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We've completed the five exercises for the strength and endurance assessment. Now what we'll do is take that data and be able to aggregate it and collect it, analyze it, and give you a report out on your full muscular output. So as you continue to go along, you take periodic assessments so you can measure the effectiveness of the workouts that you're doing. Whether you're running, walking, golfing, swimming, Metric Mate can now have an assessment that allows you to better understand how your body's responding to that workout. So whether it's every seven days, every 30 days, or every 90 days that you take a Metric Mate assessment, you'll have better knowledge on where your body is and where you're growing to. Thank you very much for joining us for this assessment video. We'll see y'all next time.